essaying. You did not build that alone. Proponents of rugged individualism believe that achievements of an individual are due solely to that person's will to succeed. Advocates of this philosophy downplay the influences of others in assisting those who become successful. It would be wise to remember John Donne's immortal phrase, No man's an island entire of itself. It must be understood, no man has the ability to thrive alone. Everybody is dependent on others for their survival. And this includes the rich. There is not a rich person who has achieved opulence without help. The accumulation of any wealth was built on the blood, sweat, and tears of others. Should the masses be grateful for those who had the ideas and capital to build an industry? Yes. But should the business owners be grateful for the masses' contribution to the success of a business? The answer is unequivocally yes. Each side needs the other. If you name the rich person any rich person, I will tell you how he or she needed others to obtain their wealth. For example, let us take the richest person to ever live. He needs no introduction. He is the king of kings. He is the dawn of all businessmen. His name is synonymous with wealth. John D. Rockefeller. Rockefeller, it must be said, was a brilliant man who revolutionized the oil industry. But his ideas alone did not bring him massive fortunes. His fortune was built on his hard work and the hard work of others. Rockefeller's ideas did not build the derricks used to raise and lower piping, drills, and other equipment for boring. Rockefeller's ideas did not build the wooden barrels used to case his oil. Rockefeller's ideas did not build the refineries. Rockefeller's ideas did not transport his oil by horse-drawn wagons to refining centers. Rockefeller's ideas did not conduct the railroads that delivered his oil. Rockefeller's ideas did not build the pipelines that would later be used to cheaply transport his oil. In fact, Rockefeller did not refine his own oil. He needed chemists and engineers who had the wisdom to create the process of copper oxidation to remove the sulfur from his oil, making it profitable. Yes, it literally took a village for Rockefeller to become the richest person to ever live. And if it took Rockefeller a multitude of people to amass his wealth, what makes anybody think their success was solely on their own?